let fx be a real differentiable function such so that f of 0 is 1. And we have been given a functional equation f of x plus y is equal to fx into f dash y plus f dash x into f of y. So in this functional equation, we can put any value of x and y belongs to R. Let's substitute x and y both to be 0 because we have been given the information f of 0 is 1, which can be used here. So putting x and y both 0, we are getting f of 0 is equal to f of 0 into f dash 0. And that again, same thing. So 2 times this. So the value of f0 is 1. So we can cancel both sides because there's non-zero value. And we get f dash 0 is equal to 1 by 2. Now again, uh, you put uh, any one of them as 0. Let's say uh, y is 0. I'm putting y equal to 0 in the original one. So that gives us f of x is equal to f of x times f dash 0 plus f dash x into f of 0. Now we have both the values f of 0 is equal to what? f of 0 is 1. It is given to us and f dash 0 is 1 by 2. So we'll be getting fx is equal to half of fx plus f dash x, which gives us a differential equation fx by 2 is equal to f dash x and we can write it as f dash x by fx is equal to 1 by 2. For solving this differential equation, we'll take integration on both sides. So f dash x by fx, integration or either half integration. Now it is in the format of dt by t, so it will give you ln fx is equal to x by 2 plus c and hence fx is equal to e raised to x by 2 plus c. Now again, you use the fact that f of 0 is 1. That gives you c is equal to 0. Hence, fx is equal to e raised to x by 2. Now what do we need? We need the value of sigma n varies 1 to 100 log fn. So we need sigma n varies 1 to 100 log with base e fn. What is fn? fn is e raised to n by 2. So replace this fn by e raised to n by 2. So we get it as n by 2 because the power will jump out and log e base e is 1. So we need to find the value of n by 2 sigma n varies 1 to 100. Half can be taken out and then it is sigma n n varies 1 to 100. Sum of first 100 natural number, it is n into n plus 1 by so we can cancel 2 and 2, 4 with 100, which is 25. 25 times 101 is 25, 25. 2525, which is option B. Yes, the given answer is option B.